Okay, the purpose of this video is to give you a bit of a quick outline as to how to turn your oven on and start a program. Um, so we're looking at the Smokerite computer board here. And this is the main menu. So when you switch your oven on, this will show you uh, the details of on your screen of contact details and the oven you've got. Um, but simply to get into a program, it's very, very basic. We just hit the menu button. That'll bring up what we want to do. So we can see there, select a recipe and edit a recipe and so forth. The screen shows four different things at a time. Um, and we just simply hit the arrow here that'll take you to the next screen. Um, and then again for the, the next screen, all these items are listed in your manual. Um, and then you go right to the end there. So depending on what options your ovens come with, um, that will have different features available or turned on as such. So what we want to do today is select a recipe. So we're going, I'm going back to the home screen just by hitting the arrow. And in this case, we're going to hit L1 because that's select a recipe. Um, every smoke right oven comes with pre-programs um, which are named and they're set by the manufacturer. So here we've got ham, bacon, silver side, roast beef. Once again, hit the arrow, we see another four. Um, and then hit the arrow again, we see another four. And then we're back around to the untitled. There's a program there that I've played with um, just to create a new one. But there we are back around there. So um, if we if we, if we we go, um, say we want to select a ham, which in this case is line two, but it might be different on, on your computer. There we are, so that's the ham program. Um, it's showing us there that we've got three steps um, in the program. There's no delayed start. Um, if we did have a delayed start, we then put a time. Obviously, we can set the time into the computer. Um, and then press the down arrow. Then we've got in step one, shows us the duration of the of step one. Um, we've, obviously, that's drying cycle, so there's no smoke or steam. Press the arrow again. That gives us the oven temperature, the air inlets, um, one of the great features of the smoke ride is we can um, we can change the air inlet and outlet um, to whatever we want. So that makes your pro your program uh, very bespoke. So that's a fantastic feature. Then we've got step two. So this is obviously the smoke step. Um, so we've got a duration of two hours, half hour for, for the smoke and obviously no steam. These are the preset programs, so you can't change this. However, if you do like the program and, and just want to tweak it slightly, then what we do is we duplicate the program and put it into program 13, for instance, and call it ham-1 or whatever we might want to call it, and then we can change whatever function we like. That's the details of the oven in step two. So we've got oven temperature 75, um, and then we've, you can see there the air inlets restricted completely and the outlets at 20%. Then we've got step three, so that this is the cooking cycle. So this would, it says 36 hours, but that's not really how long it would take. That's just so the oven doesn't run out of time. Obviously we'd be cooking to probe temperature. Um, so we've got no smoke and then we've got steam. So that shows the steam there. Um, and then we've got, so we've got oven temperature 83, but then we can see the probe temperature is on. So the, the oven is essentially cooking um, to the probe temperature. So. The 36 hours is not relevant in that case. Um, once again, the air inlet's um, zero, but the air outlet is 20%, so that can be changed as well. And then we can set a shower. So this, this oven has a shower fitted. Not all do, but you can certainly get it added to your oven on at the time of purchase. Um, and that just helps um, cool your product very quickly. And that's how we would how we do that. So we simply go back to the main menu again, so that menu there, <clears throat> and that's that's how we select the program. If we want to um, create a new program, for instance, there's line two, so we haven't really got a program we can edit as such, um, but create a program, so that's, in this case, it's L3. <clears throat> and then we've got that, so we can, this is the first unavailable, sorry, available um, unused recipe, and we just simply change the name by pressing L1, we call it whatever we want, and then pressing L2 here, that would that we can set the number of steps. So if we wanted to do um, more steps than three, we're certainly able to do it. Um, and then we can just follow the prompts accordingly. So we're gonna have a delayed start, um, yes or no. And if it's yes, then we set in the time of day we want it to start. So it might be 6.30 or 6.45 or whatever you choose. You obviously have to set the time into your oven. 
and then we've got the details so step one and accordingly we just put in whatever functionality you you feel so we can get out of that by escape so that's how you start and use your oven definitely um, we would recommend give the manufacturer programs a good shot as they're a proven program but by no means do you have to stay with them you can just create your own and make it make it bespoke and make it to suit your recipe um, and just simply by duplicating a program into the next available one you can call the name whatever you need to be and the idea would be once you're happy with it you keep it there and then you can just always refer back to it you can always adjust something if you need to or if you want to make it darker or lighter or longer smoke or shorter smoke you can certainly change all those functions and features on the board here um, we've got the stop and start so that's how you start the oven if you want to pause it you press once and it'll pause the cook so if you want to open up the door if you press it twice it'll stop the program completely pretty obvious the light the preheat side of things if we press preheat that's a fantastic function as we know when you normally put um, product into an oven it's cold um, and the oven if the oven's cold it takes a long time to get the heat up so with the smoke rod ovens you can you can set a preheat so in this case it defaults to 70 degrees and you wouldn't want to go too much hotter but you may want to if, if you feel that's good so when you put your cold product in it, it's already got the heat in the in the box and um, you don't lose so much time so that's a fantastic feature um, and that's the preheat there and then the auto clean so um, if you've got a auto clean fitted to your oven then you just simply you open up your oven spray your chemical in let it sit for a few minutes and then just hit the auto clean and that'll wash out the oven and once it's done, it will let you know and you can open up. You've got a brand new oven, it's all clean and ready to go. And then these numbers here, you can they double as numbers and letters like most keyboards do. This is the navigation button and just hit escape to get back to the home screen. Um, obviously menu again to choose your product, to, to go, through your, go through your items here. They are listed in the book. So definitely enjoy your oven and all the best. Cheers.